All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build starch. Starch is just made of tons of alpha glucose molecules, thousands and thousands. Their starch is made of not only amylose, but also amylopectin. So we're going to bond, have alpha 1,4 bonds and alpha 1,6 bonds. So we saw in a previous video amylose being built for our alpha 1,4 bond and then amylopectin being built through alpha 1,6 bonds. Now we're just going to put everything together. So we're going to have alpha 1,4 and alpha 1,6 bonds. Okay. So that's amylose and amylopectin. And this is still through dehydration synthesis, so it's the same exact process by taking out a water. And it doesn't really matter when you're practicing this which you do first or how many you do of each. So I'm going to draw my alpha glucose molecules. Um, and I am drawing in my hydroxyls where they go. And then I'll draw in my hydrogens. And I've done a little bit of shorthand here. This is a carbon. That's a carbon. Um, so if I'm numbering my carbons, this is my carbon 1, my carbon 2, my carbon 3, my carbon 4, my carbon 5, and then my carbon 6. So uh, let's do an alpha 1,4 bond first. So when I draw my next glucose molecule right next door so that I can line up my hydroxyl groups so that enzyme can work on them correctly. So they're in the same plane. So we're going to do some dehydration synthesis here. I'll erase that area and then draw in my new bond. So now we have an oxygen that's now bonded and keeping that together as an alpha 1,4 bond. All right, so now I'm just going to draw a alpha 1,6 bond next. So we need those hydroxyl groups lined up. So there's that hydroxyl group, and it's going to be bonded to my carbon 6 carbon. So the rest of my molecule is down here. All my hydroxyl groups go in. my hydrogens okay so here is where that dehydration synthesis is going to happen so I'll erase this area and draw in our new bond Um, we can just keep building